In Creo Parametric Piping, you can use the break point command to add straight line segments into your pipeline. This is very commonly used in conjunction with other commands like move segment. Let's take a look at a scenario. Here I have my assembly, I have a pipeline, then we have a design change where a new piece of equipment is added and now our pipeline runs straight through it. So I need to make a design change. Let's go to applications and then piping and I will choose route pipe and then activate the pipeline that I want to make changes to. Now let's go to the break point command. This opens up a dialog box. The first thing that I need to do is select a segment to add the break point to. So I will select this segment and then there are five different options for where you want to locate the point. The first option is for a specified length from the segment start. From this button, I can flip it to the segment end. You can see how the number changes on the screen. There is a little scroll wheel if you wanna see how the point location changes. You can also drag the yellow dot right on the screen and you can also change the value either in the dialog box or the graphics area. I will type in a value of 4,000. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to click the apply button. That'll put the break into the model, but leave the breakpoint dialog box open. If you take a look in my model tree, I now have an assembly datum point feature and a pipe joint feature. Okay, let's create one more breakpoint in here. I will select the segment for the reference. This time, instead of using a reference distance, I can use the specified length ratio. This normalizes the length of the segment between zero at one end and one at the other end. Let me flip to do it from the other side, and I'm gonna use a length ratio of 0.25. That will put it a quarter of the distance along the length. If you flip it, it's gonna change to 0.75. Let me rotate a little bit, maybe you can see that value. There you go. But instead of using length ratio, some of the other different options that we have are a distance from the previous corner, or we could do distance from a selected plane. Let's change to that option. This time I will select this surface as the reference. And then for the distance, let's change the value to 1000 and hit the enter key. The fifth option is grayed out because this is a specified distance from a fitting. And I don't have any fittings in this pipeline or this particular segment. So I'm happy with this. Let's click the OK button in order to add the breakpoint and close the dialog box. Once again, we have a datum point added to our model tree and our pipe joint feature. Now let's take a look at moving that segment around. To do that, if I go to the Edit Segment dropdown, here we have the command for moving a pipe segment and I will choose this segment as I want to move. It is in the segment collector. Let's go to the transformations tab. Right now it is going to move it vertically. On the screen you can see that there is the letter Y and an up arrow in green. If you click on the direction button, you can change it to move it horizontally instead of vertically. And now I can grab this and drag it out. And I'm gonna turn off my pre-selection highlight while I'm in the middle of this. Let's go to File, Options, Options, and then I will go to the Selection category and turn off Enable Pre-selection Highlighting just so that we don't end up with a whole lot of flashing as I'm demonstrating this to you. Okay, so I can drag this around and you can see how the values change. I can double click on the dimension in order to specify the value that I want. Be aware that you can perform multiple translations and rotations while you are in this dialog box, but you especially want to be careful with rotations. Let me go to new move and I will change from move to rotate. You'll notice that right now we have a drag handle over here. 
Let me rotate and show you what will happen if I grab this drag handle and move it. You can see that is really messing up my pipeline over here. Let me remove this move for a second and add another one. And for this one, let's go to rotate once more. You can change the direction reference, but be aware that the zero angle is going to be defined from your original segment to whatever reference that you choose. So for example, if I pick this edge over here, well, that vector from the original segment to that edge is going to determine zero degrees. So it might be a little difficult for me to get it like, you know, vertical if I want it that way. So just be careful if you are going to do rotations with the move segment dialog box. I'm just going to leave it as a translation so that we get it around that piece of equipment. I'm happy. Let's hit the check mark. And now we have successfully navigated our pipeline around the new generator that was added. So that's how you use the break point command in conjunction with move segment.